like to protect me in this battle. May the shadow engulf our enemies. You are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, Sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Ver tir tu mad, on all menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, mal of this clan. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything, and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect. All that surrounds us. And that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, oh, you have heard this question before. You sound like the mind shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Concerning this story about a cult. Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burt Tir Dumad Renaikse. I am the Donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. 
Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But it is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Kwa Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. Your village seems different than the others. Why is that? Each village is different than the others. It is the reflection of those who live in it and of all that surrounds it. Veblug. Is the village of the lightning struck wood in your language? Why do you call it that? It is said that there was once a great fire that burned all the surrounding woods caused by a storm. But one tree that burns nourishes a new tree, greener and stronger than before the forest returns. We are like her. Even wounded, we rise again, stronger than we were before. Our warriors are known for this by all clans. They fear us. Let's try something else. Are you on all Menawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. Could you tell me more about your beliefs? What a strange question. I don't believe. I know. Nature is alive. A forest is like a village. Every river, every rock, every beast, the land itself, all live, all speak to us. In exchange for these gifts, we honor her, give her our dead. This is the way of things. We do everything in our power to protect her. It was fun. More than with a woman who makes light, she did not want to play. Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the... Can't you leave us alone? Mon... Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my face! Ernaikse ya toigen kwachesa de elodeis summer meal. You have a strange stare, Anaixe. Leave me alone. Thank you. 
Can't you leave us alone, Monisanaik? Can't you leave us alone, Monisanaik? Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Leave me be! Even your... Can't you leave us alone, Monisanaik? Ernaik se ya toigan quahesa de elodes, summer mila, mach de wegande. Birtir to mad, an almanawi. What do you want? What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. This question will seem strange to you, but... Do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods, or cross paths with wild beasts. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead. In the rain that quenches us and drowns us. In the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. You're different from the others. What is your role in the village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others. When we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. 
A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pods. That would keep him busy. Or we could ask for help. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast, and it will only work once. Go away, Renaixe. You are not welcome in my home. Go away, Renaixe. You are not welcome in my home. is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we can be looking for. An evil cult, far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. The man that worships a magic lamp speaks of being naive. Oh, how it is charming. Siora, I am sorry. What I really wanted to say was that... Leave it, old man. I know exactly what it is you wanted to say. This painting is frightening, evoking war, a massacre, a bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. What a horrible mask. How can someone wear such a thing unless they're worshipping some dark creature? This is just a mask they wear in battle to intimidate their enemies, nothing more. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Aphesia. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully, he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Here we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. My child, it's time to wake up. Our nervous friend is here.
What's happening? You are so pale. Did the lightning struck tree speak to you? In a way. I, I saw many images. They were so real. As if I was the tree itself. Do tell. This vision is surely the key to the portal. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots, and at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots, then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. The drawing on this stone represents lightning. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it's supposed to evoke death. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe in life you can take me in this battle! Here, this looks like a snowflake. Evidently, I should have this can. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. I already lit this candle. I must have lit the candle. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Right. By awakening these stones in the right order, the door opens. Quiet. Close duis at Udalyam Canadedole. Tadulan Vrandi. Alaun eles agen ole vei. Klosi garamam i telami ulfli nao ich egrem. Klosi gedem da jentis ola robini a ol slei. Vankwa sa kengedem fradem a digalem. Linkwid winterbu so galantan ni. Tugon benis gremos nigawi. Renkasi e krimadurem de negao edent. Klos duis a ruiect nes diri. Lois de Graum and Adres Gideon, Arenta. As for Nufradi, Damagengadan, Yadiga Ladandian. As for Nufradi, thou in Gaishidon. As for Nufradi, thou in Gremos and Abui. What a strange ritual. I have never seen anything like it. The rituals of my village are not quite as scary. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Denegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Deirdre. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. I am not from Teleme. I cast no judgment upon your beliefs. But if you want us to help you, you need to help us understand. I doubt that you would be able to understand, but very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Ranoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion. But if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come. Though what you will hear may not be to your liking.
the enlightened protect me in this battle. What a strange party we have here. Who are you to come and disrupt our solitude? Good day, we... You? You are on Olmenawi and at the same time, Renaixi. So it is possible to bond yourself on your faraway island. We are here because Teleme has asked us to carry out an investigation. They think that certain clans venerate a demon, an evil creature. We carried out our investigation of Vedlog on Chief Durda in an attempt to discover the truth. And the clues have led us to find our answers in this sanctuary. Durda sends you to seek out a... demon? Curious. A man from your island came already a long time ago. Full of questions he was as well. He had a small party of warriors with smoking tubes. And on their chests... A golden lion. A lion? The coat of arms of the Bridge Alliance. In our territory. Such boldness. They set up a camp near here, and then they disappeared all of a sudden. Do you know where precisely? It was a long time ago. I don't remember all that well. My memory has been leaving me of late. But it wasn't far from here. You will find it, I am certain. Ah, you are bringing back the memories. They were asking nearly the same questions you ask. It represents a beast of the marshes, a red serpent.
fresco in various yellow hues. It represents a sort of insect. The image is fading. I can't see much of anything. Probably. You can still discern the crest of the Alliance on this doublet. Let's search the area. There might still be something interesting. Strange stranger. We found the camp you spoke of. Well, all that remains of it. I told you, you were not the first Renagse went by here. Many died. What happened to them? I warned them, I remember. They did not listen very well. Too bad. Their weapons were strange, strange and powerful, but not enough so. The marsh is more powerful still. That doesn't seem to bother you all that much. Tiafradi gives, Tiafradi takes back. But you're still here. What do you want again? I found this note. It speaks of a ritual, but it is incomplete. Do you know anything else about it? A ritual? Yes, there is a ritual for the impatient. For me, it serves no purpose. I am here. I wait. But for me, it would be useful. Can you help me? Deirdre must have her reasons. The folly of youth. Do you see those drums over there? They awaken the earth. As long as you play them correctly, they will awaken the earth. Oh, and that's not all. Once the earth is awakened, the stone will appear. That must be quenched. Quench a stone? But you're still here. What do you want again? How do you play the drums? Oh, that's easy. The music is the first language of Tiafradi. It resonates with the earth. You need only respect the natural order for the earth to hear you. A predator, a prey, the cycle. That's not really all that clear. Come now, come now. You must first make the snake rattle, unless it is first to be the insect. Time devours all memories. I do remember one thing, though. 
I'm listening. Each drum must only be played one time, and only once. But you're still here. What do you want again? Quench a stone. What does that mean? Water trickles on the stone and returns to us, empowered by its force. But sometimes, water is not enough. This note I found explains a recipe. A potion thought to contain the essence of this place. That's what must be poured over the stone. Oh, yes. No doubt. No doubt. But you're still here. What do you want again? Nothing. I shall leave you alone. If memory serves, the enemy told us specifically not to do this. Evidently, we made a mistake. Maybe I'm likely to pass it to me. Something's appeared over there. It seems as if it's some type of altar. Looks like an altar. What is this? Dark killed you killed her monsters murderers You knew her, old man, before she became a Nadaig. Me the earth swallow you whole. You and those from their dark oil. They must all be destroyed. But in all mil men will stop them. He will chase you all away. Murderers! His hunt has begun! Calm down. We didn't have a choice. We were only defending ourselves. Sure, what is he talking about? Why is he so furious, and who is Enon Mil Frichtemann? I believe he is furious because he knew the Nadaig before she bonded. He mourns her in this way. 
It was a Donegad who received very much power and who traded herself completely. Are you saying that that creature was once a woman? Yes, like you and me. Anyone who draws upon the power of the Earth becomes one of their faces in exchange. As for your other question, Enon Mir Trichtemann means one of a thousand faces. This name rings a bell. I've heard it before. It is surely the name of the demon we seek to expose. Enon Mir Trichtemann. I doubt that you can understand. But enough to think that this being wants us harmed. Perhaps it's the source of the Malachor. And why is that? Why would the source of your sickness come from here? I don't know, Siora. But didn't this man just say that this being would hunt us down? We need to learn more. <laughs>